Okay, today's video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the uh, valve timing on a 2009 Volvo S60 with a 2.5 turbo engine. Now, this is this is this video is to align um, the valve timing, not when you're doing a timing belt. When you're doing a timing belt, you could probably get away with making marks, you know, on the original, you know, whatever it sits, you make the marks and take the timing belt off and you'll be okay. But if you're replacing the head gasket or, or you're taking the um, variable valve timing um, gears off to, let's say, replace the seal in the back, there is no keyway here and these move see this they move either way and they have to be a certain way they have to be locked in a certain way or the engine's not going to run right so basically when you you're you're rebuilding an engine and you're taking these uh these two cams off uh the cam gears off uh you have to do this procedure now this is going to set it to factory so let's say if you have a problem after you do this and it's something the engine's running rough, and at least you'd know it's not the mechanical valve timing. Okay, it could be it could be the uh, sensor or or something else, but it won't be the mechanical valve timing. That's very important because if you don't set this, and it is the mechanical valve timing, you're going to be going around in circles trying to diagnose this. So basically, this is setting everything back to factory specs with the factory marks. You're going to need a tool. I'll put a link in the tool on the in the description. You can get it on Amazon for about 40 bucks. It's a tool right here. And what this tool does, it locks the cams in the proper position so you can adjust the front, okay? So basically it's just two bars and I'll show you on the, on the here. This is extensions of it. Sometimes some engines you, you may need an extension like to clear something over here, okay? You see? One is one is off centered high and one is off centered lower. Okay? And one goes on the intake and the exhaust. You can't really mess it up. And once you put it there, let me see if I can put this. There's a screw here, and it tightens them both down and keeps them nice and straight. Okay? And before you do that, it's gonna have when you take those, for instance, the exhaust valve right here. This is gonna be in here without the tool, obviously. You're gonna to have to take that 10 millimeter bolt out and take this out, because you can't put the tool in with this in there, okay? This is also for the variable valve timing. You take these out first on both sides, and but these do have a key. So once everything's set up and you put these in, they're going only one way. Okay, once you're set up in the back, what you're gonna do is get a Torx bit like this. It's a T55. You're going to take the center plugs out here. I already loosened it. Off this one and off this one. Then in the, in the middle, there's another big bolt. It's about 80 pounds, 60 to 80 pounds torque. You got to take those out. I loosened it. I didn't take it all the way out yet. Okay. The belt is still on. What you're going to want to do is the tensioner. Just point to it. You see this bolt right here? You take that bolt out and the little tensioner. Over here there's gonna be a mil, um, an Allen key. I think it's an eight, Allen key, eight millimeter Allen key. And you're gonna to wanna to put it clockwise to loosen the slack on the belt. That's number two. Number three, as you see these three, there's three uh, bolts here, one, two, three, and the same thing on that cam. You're gonna loosen all those bolts. So basically, the inside ones, these on the sides, and we're gonna take the timing belt off. So right now, I'm gonna take the timing belt off and loosen all the bolts I just told you. Okay, so see, I loosened everything. You see how it slides? It slides like that and the whole thing moves now. You see that? Everything's moving because the center bolt is loose. It's not all the way out. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is put the cover back on, the timing cover, this temporary cover, because this cover has the notches. You see them right there? I put little white marks on it so you can see it better like this. All right, you install this temporarily so you can align up your cams. And I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, now we're gonna do 
You see the timing mark? It's right here. It's very, very, very thin. It's like a razor. It's like if somebody took a razor blade and just made a skinny little line. It's right here. Now, I highlighted it. It's not that big. And I want you guys to make sure, I don't want you to get confused here. Let me turn it around. There's another mark here. You see this mark? That's not the timing mark. It's in the center of the valley of the uh, tooth. That is not the timing mark. You have to turn it around pretty much halfway and you're gonna see if it's not highlighted, you have to look really closely. It's almost like, <laughs> it's almost like it's not there, but it's there. I highlight it so you can see it better. And the same thing on the exhaust cam right there. So what you want to do is basically, just keep them, see how they slide? That's what you want right now on both of them. All right, just keep them basically, basically straight up. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna snug this bolt enough that it turns the whole mechanism. So you not tight, but just snug it enough and then we're gonna turn them counterclockwise just a little bit. Okay, so I tightened the center bolts just a little bit snugly so it can turn the whole variable valve time. See, look, I'll show you, see? And then it doesn't go no more. And if you went this way, it doesn't go. So basically they want this, you see how it's all the way locked? Now this one goes less travel than this one. See, look, this one goes one and a half. Okay, so basically they want it all the way all the way counterclockwise both of them and what we're going to do after that is we're going to loosen the screws they want you to take them out but you can loosen them enough that they don't that they don't move and we're going to turn it and now you're going to see that the oval holes the bolts going to be they're all going to be hitting here as you turn it they're all going to be these bolts are going to be hitting, hitting their hair i'll show you look you see You see that, how it's moving? So once I take the bolt out, once I take the bolt out, we're gonna turn it like that till it's, 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 see it's at its limit position? Okay, right now I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna loosen the bolt and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, now I loosen the center bolts and they're still counterclockwise. Now, when we turn it, we're not gonna be turning the variable valve unit, we're gonna be turning the gear. That's what they want. What they want, basically, it's got to be one cog, meaning one tooth, before top dead center. So, uh, so I have to do with this. Let me take the light off. You guys can see it better. All right. Now, what we do is we turn it, and as we're turning it. to show you as we're turning it you see it's moving to its there that now that's it's at its limit position going clockwise now it can't move anymore that's what we want and now we want to have we want to have the center mark one tooth before top dead center it's hard for me to adjust it I mean with the with the um, camera but you're gonna put that mark on the timing gear one tooth before that top dead center and then we're going to tighten that bolt down on this side we're going to put it one and a half before top dead center in other words you're going to turn it i can even turn this one just make sure it locks not locks it slides in place see that and you got to make sure it's at least one and a half which it probably is right there and then you're gonna lock, you're gonna lock, tighten that bolt, and make sure it doesn't move as you tighten it to 88 pounds. It's 88 foot pounds. And the same thing with the back one. And then once they're tight, then you turn the gear and line them up. Okay? So to recap, I hope you understand what I'm talking about, is you loosen the bolts on both of them, you turn the gear pretty far back, about four teeth, okay? Then you loosen the, um, the bolt and then you turn it to about one before, top dead center over there, 
and one and a half before top dead center here, and you lock the bolts down 88 foot pounds, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, once you tighten the center bolt, and you had this one at one and a half cog, the intake, you line it up to the mark. Make sure that you're fully set. You see, on the, the um, oval hole, it can't go anymore. Let me show you, see? That's it, it can't go anymore. Then you turn it, turn it until you line it up. And the same thing with the back one. Okay, now your cams are aligned. This, this other thing you're gonna do is on the bottom, the crankcase. Now there is a crankcase locking tool. I just don't have it. So I'm gonna use the marks down in here. Uh, it could move a, a slight bit. You may have to fiddle with it, you know, but I ain't buying the tool right now. Uh, I had one, I just don't know where it is. I haven't been working on the Volvos for a while. But um, down there, there's gonna be two marks. I'm gonna make a little diagram and show you because it's ridiculous. It has two, two little marks. You can almost barely see them. And this time it has to be in the valley of the, here. In other words, like up here, let me explain it. Let's let make believe this is the, the uh, crank gear, right? It's gonna have a little slit right right on the top of the, the gear right here and a little slit on top of the gear right there and the timing mark is gonna be right in the middle of the valley. Okay, don't, don't, don't worry about that mark. Okay, let's say it again. Okay, let's say this is the bottom in the crank, right? Crank gear. It's gonna have, a, you're gonna look for a little slit, a little slit on the top of the tooth right there and another little slit on the top of the tooth right there and then in the center on the valley is going to be top dead center okay that's going to be on the bottom all right and that top dead center is going to be there's going to be um on the oil pump there's going to be a little a little mark and that mark has to face the valley of that of um the valley inside the timing gear crank crank gear on the bottom Right. I'm going to line that up and see if I can zoom it in for you and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, now the bottom dead, the crankshaft center, I mean, I'm sorry. Crankshaft timing mark, top dead center, is down there. It's in between. I put two white marks, but here, I'm going to show you on the paper. What are you looking at down there? Okay, down there, you're going to see two teeth that have little slits in them. I'm telling you, they're so small. It's like almost, you can't see it. All the other ones don't. So in between the two that you'll see, it has like two little notches in it. The bottom point of that, the valley, is gonna to be top dead center. Now on the oil pump, which is on the engine, it's gonna have a pointer that points right in, right over here, that's gonna point right in the valley. And when you turn the crank at a certain angle, it's going to be top dead center down there. You want to make sure that that top dead center, you cannot, you can, you can kind of see it on an angle here. Um, I can't get it down there. I can't zoom it. But when you're looking at it, it's hard to see it here, but you could see it barely. So basically you're gonna be looking down on the engine and you're gonna see the pointer and then you're gonna to have to look for the gears. When your tire belt's off, it's easier to mark them if you want and even mark the little pointer so you can see it when you're looking down in the valley. That has to be at top dead center, okay? Then, let me get the light again. Over here. Those two marks got to match as well as these two. They got to match there and there. Okay? Now, once you get them all on, right, turn. But don't forget the locking tool is still in there. What you're going to do is just turn everything counterclockwise and then turn clockwise again until the crank is on top dead center. 
and all your marks line up again. Now don't forget, all three of these bolts are still loose. All six actually, three on this one and three on They're all still loose. Once everything is timed like this, then you're gonna get your T55 and you're gonna, let me show you. This here. T55. Okay. Now you're gonna pull it. See how it's all the way locked? That's what you want to do. You want to have it all the way locked and then tighten up those screws, all three. And the same thing on the other side. Okay, once you got them all tightened up, the timing is done. Now you want to check the tension. You see the tension over here? You do not push this up because it, it can tighten up the arrow should you have to push down and you see this lever this lever has to be in between this right here now let me show you you see it should be right around that's a little too much something like that and then you tighten the center bolt okay and then once you tighten it should stay in the middle like that again you go down not this way up Oh, see, it can, it can tighten that way too, but that's the wrong way. It has to go down. In other words, counterclockwise. And then you tighten up the bolt. So you get it right in the middle like that. And then you tighten it. All right, and once that's tightened, take the tool out, the cam tool out, crank it two revolutions clockwise, and make sure all your timing marks still line up. And then the timing's complete. So, and just make sure all your nuts and bolts are tight and you're just good to go. I know it's a little complicated on this engine, but that's, you know, once you know it, it's, it's not that bad. Okay, motor car nut. See you guys in the next video. Please subscribe, hit that like button. Any questions, just let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.